Before COVID, part of Sean Lewis's job was going on vacations. From Italy to St. Lucia to Greece, the travel agent made sure his group's trips were seamless until the pandemic hit. It was a deep cut. For the past year, Lewis has been home in Kennett Square, not booking, but canceling and refunding. So you're working for nothing to give people money back. Pretty much, pretty much. He saw a paycheck protection loan as a lifeline. I got excited and I applied. He got $161. The word that comes to mind over and over is insulting. We found about 1,100 small businesses across Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware that got $1,000 or less. We even found one business in South Jersey that got just $4. During the first round of small business loans, the Small Business Administration was stingy with some, but got too generous with others. The federal government's own investigation traced nearly $3.6 billion to more than and 57,000 ineligible businesses. These are companies that failed to hold up government contracts or owe the IRS back taxes. Investigators found them on the Treasury Department's do not pay list, a list no one checked before handing out the first round of loans worth nearly $700 billion. Are the second round loans right now being compared against the do not pay list, the Treasury's database? That's what they're telling us. Um, and that's something that we're going to hold them accountable for. U.S. Congressman Andy Kim of New Jersey is a member of the Small Business Committee that comes with direct oversight of the Small Business Administration and by extension, the Paycheck Protection Program. Taxpayers look at this and they think the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. Is that how you see it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it, first of all, it's just, it's really disgusting. It's terrible that we can't figure out a better way to be able to have that kind of, have that kind of accountability built into this process. $284 billion in second round loans are being handed out right now. But some business owners, including one travel agent in Kennett Square, say they won't apply again, not to be floated only a few hundred dollars. For the investigators, I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News.